Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. Today we are going to talk about relays and how to use relays with ESP32, ESP8266 or Arduino microcontrollers. First of all, uh, these two are uh, what you are commonly going to uh, see when you talk about uh, relays with microcontrollers. Let me show you this one. Uh, this one is controlled with uh, 5 volts and uh, can uh, conduct up to 10 amps. This one is bigger brother, but it uh, arrives uh, with uh, already uh, pre-soldered uh, everything. So you are going to get entire control board. And this one is also controlled with uh, 5 volts uh, and can conduct up to 30 amps. And now one word for my experience. It says 5 volts, but I tried many times with 3.3 uh, volts. It works all the same. Once again, this big one, it's actually quite simple. Uh, you have uh, terminals uh, for uh, load on uh, one side and on another side you have uh, 5 volts plus of uh, ground and you have control pin. You are going to use this control pin in order to turn on or turn off uh, this relay. With this smaller model, a uh, situation is much different. We actually have uh, five pins on the back. So, uh, top pin, it's pin that you are uh, usually going to use uh, for one end of the load. These two pins, left and right, are uh, used for control. So, in here you are going to apply five volts. And what are uh, these uh, two uh, pins remaining? Uh, this uh, right one, it is uh, what is known as uh, normally open. This left one, it's what is known as normally closed. So what that actually means? Let me show you in practical example. So now I'm going to use my multimeter. I'm going to set to diode mode in here so you can see. All right, so with uh, normally closed, if we connect uh, leads from this multimeter to it, you can hear beeping, that means that we have some conductivity. Not the best one. It's not easy to find contact because nothing is soldered. Okay, it's enough. What normally closed means? Means that uh, these two uh, pins are normally uh, connected. So if you connect uh, one side of the load uh, on uh, this pin and another side of the load on uh, this pin uh, from normally closed pair, uh, these two pins are going to conduct, meaning uh, this relay is going to conduct. With normally open, it's the opposite. And that is going to remain true as long as we don't apply uh, 5 volts to these two pins. These two are control pins. And that is what I'm going to do now. So I have uh, 5 volts from my ESP32 microcontroller and it uh, doesn't matter on which side you are going to connect the ground and on which side you are going to connect uh, plus 5 volts because coil it's not polarized. Later on I'm going to uh, explain what is inside of uh, this device. Now when I connect 5 volts, you are probably going to hear click. If I remove it, you are going to hear click again. That click means that our switch is uh, turning on or turning off. Now when I connect it once again, once again we are going to hear click. And now what is going to happen? Now when we try to measure normally closed side, we are not going to get any conductivity. But if we try to measure normally open side, you are going to hear beeping and that is going to be as long we have a 5 volts applied to these control pins. So now I'm just going to remove it. Okay. Later on I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, connect this relay, how to hook up uh, all of necessary elements. And now, what about this relay? This is completely different type. Uh, so whenever you are buying relay, please check specs, check, uh, check every single detail about that relay. First of all, you have to know what is control voltage. 
If control voltage is 5 volts or 3.3 volts, uh, that uh, relay is probably good for your microcontrollers projects. If control voltage is bigger, that means that if you want to use it with your microcontroller, you are probably going to uh, need uh, some uh, secondary power supply that you would have to control with transistors, for example. Of course, second thing that is uh, important for you is uh, what kind of load you are going to have. And there are many choices on that part. You could find relay that can uh, control up to 240 volts uh, AC, maybe with 5 or 20 amps or something like that. You could find relays uh, that are used to control DC, for example, 12 or 24 volts uh, with uh, 2 amps or something like that. So basically there are many different types of relays. In here I have one type of relay that you are not going to uh, see too often. Let me show you what we have in here. Uh, this relay is controlled with uh, 5 volts and can uh, conduct up to uh, 20 amps of uh, 250 uh, volts AC. But it works in different way than this one. For example, uh, this relay cannot keep state when it loses the voltage on control pins. This one it's actually keeping state. For example, let me show you what is going to happen. These two are load pins. So if I check conductivity now, you see that I'm not going to have any conductivity on these two pins. But if I apply 5 volts to control pins, you see, you heard click, I'm going to remove it. Now we are going to see some conductivity on load side. You see, we can hear beeping. Now what we should do in order to get another click, meaning to uh, reverse state, we have to reverse polarity on uh, this coil. So I'm going to uh, reverse polarity like this. You heard click, and now we are not going to get any beepings. You hear? So this type of relay actually keeps state. Once you change state, state is going to uh, remain the same as long you don't reverse polarity on control pins. Okay, next thing that we are going to talk about is uh, what we actually have inside of this relay. So on one side, you are going to have coil. On the other side, you are going to have three control points and a switch. So this one uh, that is uh, switch, it's uh, turn to, it's normally close. Another one, it's normally open. And next thing that is important for you to know, it's that in order to control it with your microcontroller, you need transistor. And we are going to use NPN transistor. This is the base of transistor and in here, you are going to have 10 K resistor. In here you are going to have some pin of ESP32 microcontroller. And of course you are going to need ground connection and plus 5 volts. But now there is one more issue that we have to address. And that is what is happening when we actually uh, turn off uh, this relay. Now, when relay is turning on, this coil uh, is going to uh, create a magnetic field. That magnetic field is going to affect this switch in order to turn it on. But when you cut voltage, polarity of this coil is going to reverse. And that is actually a moment uh, when we could start having some problems. In order to prevent any kind of problems, we have to add some resistor that is going to draw current from uh, this coil when you turn it off. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one node in here and in here I'm going to put some also 10k resistor but now in here I'm going to have one 
diode connected to plus 5 volts. So now when we apply voltage to base of our transistor, this conductor is going to magnetize and to turn on this relay. But when we remove voltage from the base of our transistor, magnetic field uh, from the inductor is going to collapse, polarity is going to reverse and then that uh, current is going to uh, travel through this uh, 10K resistor and diode. And what this diode actually does, it prevents current through this uh, 10K resistor in regular state. So when you put voltage on the base or your transistor, this resistor for the safety purpose, it's not going to draw any current. Now on my PC, I'm going to create one sketch for ESP32 microcontroller in order to show you how to control your relays. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create integer control pin and I'm going to use general public input output pin number, let's say 17 and I'm going to set pin mode, but we don't need serial monitor, just pin mode for control pin, we are going to set it to output, all right. Okay, and now I'm going to create one bool value. Let's call it state, set it to set it to true. Like this. Now, first we are going to use a digital write to control pin. And now we are going to check state and if state is true is going to be high else is going to be low all right and the next thing what we are going to do we are going to reverse state state it's not state and we are going to delay of three seconds okay that is fine i'm going to build and upload this code So guys, we have our code up and running and first I'm going to teach you how to uh, use uh, this relay already connected to your PCB. Okay, so first what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove these alligator clips and I'm going to connect 5 volts underground to control pins. Let me show you, we have control pins, plus minus and uh, control pin. And I'm going to use one more for the control pin. Everything is easy and straightforward. And I'm going to use pin 17. You hear? On the load side, I'm going to connect my multimeter. Set it to diode mode. You hear? We have uh, three seconds on and three seconds off. All right, this was more than simple. Okay, for this second example, we are going to use this smaller relay. But now we have to set every uh, component ourselves. So now we are going to need one diode, we are going to need uh, two 10K uh, resistors, and we are going to need one transistor. So I showed you an example with uh, bipolar uh, NPN transistor. But uh, for this purpose, I'm going to uh, use this N-channel MOSFET, but it's going to work all the same, so you don't have to worry. So I'm just going to hook up my transistor to this breadboard. All right, I'm going to connect my microcontroller ground to the ground of this breadboard. Then I'm going to connect 5 volts from this microcontroller. 
All right. So we are going to use exact the same code like in previous episode. And I'm going to connect my control pin. That is pin 17. Okay, I'm going to use this place. It's good as any. Now, from the gate of uh, this uh, MOSFET, I'm going to connect through this 10K resistor control pin from my microcontroller. Then, source from this transistor to the ground. Now, this control element, we are going to use a reversely polarized diode and 10K resistor. This resistor is going to be connected to the drain of transistor and then from the drain I'm going to use this alligator clip to connect one end of control pins of this relay then from this diode we are going to connect 5 volts and from the same point we are going to provide 5 volts to this relay you hear so we are getting uh, clicks on every 3 seconds and let's see what we are going to have in here of course my multimeter is already in diode mode I'm going to check this uh, normally open pins here okay I have to do this better we are getting beepings three seconds turning off three seconds turning off so that's all guys uh, so I hope that you learned something new something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya